Okay, so I'm going to switch back to a new that material. Lambert 1, so I can see. Or on the keyboard to make this a little bit smaller. And then again, I'm going to try to cover my biggest form here. There we go. And now if I jump into my other view, I'm just going to pull this up a little bit so it's not, it's a little easier to grab. And then let's work on this front first. So again, this is just like the other thrusting unit. I'm just calling it a pylon because it's not a thruster. I think this is where they sh the actual rays shot out. Okay, so extrude, remember, R on the keyboard to scale, extrude, W on the keyboard to move, extrude, scale, extrude, move, If you mess up, just undo once and you can get back your selection. Extrude scale. Extrude move. Ooh, dead on. See that? Didn't even have to do anything. Okay, I think this starts going to a little bit of a tapered point here. So what I'm going to do is scale this just a little bit. Extrude scale, extrude move, and I'm only worried about the round part. If you look at your reference, uh, there's going to be this little individual change that happens on the tip, and I'll show you how to get that certainly, but um, just this is where your imagination comes in and you're like, oh, okay, well, this is going straight. Extrude scale, extrude move, keep doing that over and over until you get that. And then we're going to work on this back propulsion, back uh, pylon. This time, I'm just going to move it out and then scale it because it has this tapered cone right here. Move. Extrude scale. Extrude move. There we go. Now, my scene is getting really slow, so let me show you why that is, and it's called history. Right now, all these objects have history. So we're going to take this and just back up a little bit, and highlight all the stuff, and go edit, delete by type history, okay? And also, make sure you save. So now, it, it probably made it go about 300 times faster because of that. History is awful sometimes. When do you use it? Uh, sometimes to undo certain attributes. So, you know, I think in all my time, you know, I maybe used history to get back a change that the undo didn't catch. Maybe a couple times. So I'm just going to brace this object. You're going to also find out the tools work a little faster.
And I want you to start exploring where to insert an edge loop to kind of brace this type of form so it doesn't collapse in on itself. Form change like this. You have to do kind of one of those. And form change like that. You got to do one of those. Now, in this lesson, you know, I'm modeling this all the way through with you. I always do that with students. I, I usually model the first model all the way through just to kind of show them what's important. What needs to be braced? How do you brace an item? Why do you brace an item? All that good stuff. But keep note, you know, I'm going to be sending you on your merry way after I show you the tools and kind of like the next video. It's not going to be so workflow-like. So I'll only be showing you the tools and then expecting you to take it from there. All right, now, this little coupler, uh, this thing right here in the end, see it? Yeah, that thing. Okay, so I'm going to kind of fudge that. I'm going to say right here, I'm going to extrude this, but I'm going to scale it this way. And move it just a little bit back. And then I'm going to grab this one and this one. This one and this one. So two faces from the top, two faces from the bottom. And extrude those up. Okay. And then I could also scale this. Now my reference is very poor for this. I'm going to kind of uh, do it in such a way where I think it looks good. So I'm going to move this forward, kind of like that. And the bad thing is, when I go to rotate it, I can't rotate both of them at the same time. So this is this is the pain in the butt part. Uh, what I'm going to have to do is just take this and um, manually rotate it a little bit. See, I'm having a hard time getting a hold of those faces. So I'm going to extrude it and kind of rotate it ever so much and then scale it in just a little bit. So again, that was taking it, rotating it, scaling it, and now I have those two. I can go into my side view and try to just get something that looks like that. In this case, my ship's in my way. So I'm going to kind of move that for a second, just so I can get to this. Okay, so I'm going to extrude it, move it, rotate it. Scale it. Okay, so that that looks pretty nice. I I think I'm gonna just keep it that way. So it has these little things that kind of flow off the outside edge. And then I'm just gonna fake the other one. Now I could rotate it here too, but I certainly can't scale it.
All right, now that we've experienced something like this, uh, what I want to do is show you the mirror command and see if we can kind of uh, make this perfect on both sides. So let me show you that in the next video.